this is the Jeffcott property here at Brooklet and there's been a lot of work done on this property over the last 20 years restoring the original habitat which is subtropical rainforest part of the big scrub and this like a lot of land in this area was degraded as a result of intensive agriculture, various farming, dairy farming, first of all the clearing of the red cedars and then the dairy farming. And then the Jeffcots decided uh, 20 years ago that they would buy this property. It was a, a 100 acre dairy farm and they set about to rehabilitate it, to restore it. Traditionally the farmers were rewarded for pushing rocks into the creek they were rewarded, rewarded for the amount of land they burnt. Now I'm not criticising them, it was everybody's ignorance of the day and how the world's turned. Tony Parks from The Big Scrub, who is my husband's business and life mentor, life skills mentor, and a bit of mine as well, um, introduced us to Mark Dunphy. He said, oh goody, you've got a remnant, you must do something. OK, Tony, um, our first remnant's where you drive in. It's where the old farmer, in fact, had dumped yeah. his rubbish and appreciate that this is the head of Emigrant Creek, which the people from Ballina wish to drink out of, and other so did the cattle. So the farm was here, we bought in the middle of a drought. There was an initial remnant. So Mark came along and we said, oh goody, and went on the curve of, my goodness, let's do this rainforest. We've been um, doing this project and planted 60,000 plus trees, and we've had uh, fantastic success of regenerating the creek, establishing remnant um, rainforest for habitat for animals, uh, developing different strategies and different techniques for um, learning how to re-establish a rainforest from a bare paddock. And um, a lot of those uh, lessons have been um, developed and taken elsewhere and now we've got bigger projects that are like 100,000 plus trees and those lessons have now been taken over to the bigger projects and it's just getting bigger and and, and uh, more successful. We've got the trees organised, pumps going, um, and now we're going to plant a tree. We're now doing this planting here today. This paddock's always been a bit difficult. Um, Rouse were very kind in offering some plants for the purpose of today, of which they've said, Chrissy, you guys and Will, you guys have done heaps anyhow, so no, we can spare a few plants for people to come and again learn. I um, you get their attention by doing the elephant's bottom technique, which gets them in straight away. So you put the soil in there and you stick your hand in the elephant's bum <laughs> and uh, mush it all up and then you can slip the tree in, right? But um, you don't have to envisage the elephant's bottom scenes were over 10 years old. It's a field day for uh, um, Rouse Water, Big Scrub Land Care and Enviter involved. And it's basically an education day to try and teach people, enthuse people about the benefits of having a rainforest and for, in the purpose of today, on a working farm. Just grab a, just grab a pair of gloves. Yep, thank you. And a trowel if you'd like to find. And just sort of head up here and see where you Okay. Well, I've got a big restoration project about to start. We're about to embark on a five-year plan, but really it's probably a 20-year plan. And, um, and so I came to hear the experts. I mean, this is an incredibly inspiring piece of forest, the fact that it started from a paddock and now feels like in sections, feels like a rainforest. And there's always something new to learn, because as um, Mark was saying, you know, what they thought was... Know, the rules and regulations or how to plant 20 years ago, 10 years ago, they're changing. So it's nice to hear the updates from the professionals. It is a bit of a luxury, but I mean, you know, it's, it, it gives back so much. You can cut down on maintenance, so you can lock up pieces of land that, you know, uh, have problems with weeds. Um, you, you change the dynamics of the property, it gives moisture points back into a property. For instance, this property was an old paddock and since they've planted the gully areas, the pastures for the cows have just got so much better. So the benefits are, are huge. Right, now let's keep the feet down.
that one. Tony Parks, you've met Tony. Um, this tall elderly gentleman, he's the inspiration extraordinaire man. What we've got here now is structure in the in the rainforest. We've got we've got uh, upper level, we've got mid layers, we've got ground covers, we've got the whole structure that's required for a healthy rainforest. So we've seen some of the original plants that were planted, the original pioneer species have, have now faded on and their their offspring, their uh, their seed has started to create its own growth. So this is all this is how this is how we want a, a, a forest to be, to be uh, self-sufficient, to be uh, self-generating, and that's what's been able to be achieved here over that time. There's always something extraordinary to see, new, new and do, and, and just enjoy, and and yeah, and hopefully um, other people will go home. Don't feel you've got to do seventy thousand trees. Do three.